Today we want to have a closer look at the mysterious problem Leclerc had at the Hungarian Grand Prix. He was on pole position, leading the race for a long time and suddenly lost lots of pace after his second pit stop and finished fourth. He was furious with the team during the race, but relatively calm after the race. So what happened here? First of all, the track in Hungary is a high downforce track, because it has many medium speed corners and only short straights. So traditionally, if one team brings their high downforce packages and high downforce updates to Hungary. Ferrari is running a new rear suspension for two races now. This rear suspension changes the kinematics, so the car doesn't pitch as much under braking, which doesn't change the floor's position as much, which means more stable downforce during braking. So the setup of this suspension is a bit different than before. Since in Hungary it's all about downforce, teams want to drive the car as low as possible. That is the background info. What we could see with Ferrari now is that with their update, they are now the second best car. During quali in Hungary, the wind was changing significantly, which threw off many drivers. But in the end, Leclerc could surprisingly secure pole position. So the car had a good setup with lots of downforce. In the race, Leclerc could keep first position and was driving two good stints. But he started to complain about cuts and complained to the team that they have to discuss things like this before the race and he could have solved the problem differently. During his second pit stop, the team changed something on the front wing as well and from now on, so in his third stint, he lost the balance, lost lots of downforce and was more than one second per lap slower. In the end, he was furious with the team, said he won't even be on the podium now and he was right, he finished fourth. After the race he was much calmer and explained that he has more information now and it was not the problem he thought he had. He was thinking that it was a problem which was in the team's control. It was something completely else and had to do with the chassis. So what exactly happened here? Here's one theory. The clerk is driving two good stints and complains about cuts at the end of the straights. These are ignition cuts of a different engine program to reduce top speed. Teams do this for two reasons. Either they want to save fuel or they want to limit downforce, because downforce is increasing with speed. The clerk thought it was to save fuel and was angry with the team about not telling him, because instead of giving him ignition cuts, which is not in his control, he could have managed that by lift and coast at the end of the straight, so by lifting the throttle early. So that would be in his control. But what was really going on was that the team drove the Ferrari very low for the whole weekend to increase downforce. So the car was very competitive. But maybe Ferrari didn't expect to secure pole position and to lead the Grand Prix. If the car drives in free air, it has more downforce and hence rubs down the plank more. The car cannot be changed between qualifying and race anymore, otherwise you have to start from the pit lane. So during the race, after leading it for some time, the team could see that the car is bottoming out every now and then and the plank wear could be too high. This topic wasn't really on the FIA's radar this weekend, but Ferrari has been disqualified for this before. Also, the FIA doesn't check every car for this every weekend, but they will check the front runners and if they have a suspicion. So the team decided to give Leclerc a different engine program, which gave him ignition cuts and limited top speed to avoid too much downforce at high speeds and rubbing down the plank too much. Leclerc complained about it since he thought it was for fuel saving, but the team couldn't tell him what the real reason was because they didn't want to tip off the FIA for a plank check. So at his second pit stop they did something else. They increased the rear tire pressure to lift the rear of the car to avoid too much plank wear. To compensate the loss of downforce at the rear, they reduce downforce at the front wing during the stop. But of course, they cannot know the exact amount they have to adjust the front wing because they haven't tested for such a case. So in his third stint, Leclerc had too much rear tire pressure, a smaller contact patch, which means less grip, less rear downforce because of the higher car and a compromised balance. He lost the podium places, came back to the team and they told him about the plank wear issue while he was still thinking the team tried to save fuel and he didn't understand why the car was so off after the second pit stop. Now he gave his interview, was a lot calmer and said it was something else than he thought. It was a chassis issue. But of course Ferrari cannot state here what it was really about because plank wear could get you disqualified. 
So it seems like Ferrari drove too low, maybe because they didn't expect to be on pole position and leading the race. They tried to fix it during the race, which they successfully did, but they had to leave their driver in the dark because they couldn't communicate the real reason. And in the end, they lost out on the podium. So this shows you how tricky F1 can sometimes be, and finding the perfect setup in such a tight field is not easy. I hope you like this little insight and see you at the next video.